welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. I was fortunate enough during my vacation to go with BG and Lucas C to see Andy's Hobby Headquarters and grab some kits and products. Let's go inside and take you all on a view of what Andy has to offer in his store. As we walk into the store, looking to the right side, we see a display case with a whole bunch of models along with models that he built on his actual YouTube channel, which you can find here on the top right corner of your screen. While Andy, Lucas C, and BG were talking, I wanted to get an overall layout of the store and then start walking down each aisle. As you walk into the store, to your left and make your way down, you'll see the weathering books that Andy has along with all of the recent kit releases and a few odds and ends there as well. As you look down the aisle, you see a lot of military kits here, a lot of tanks and vehicles on the right side, and at the far end, we'll see the automotive models and we'll go through those in depth. I have grown an appreciation for all of the modelers who build in the military genres, especially the ones that do 135th scale vehicles, as well as the figures. Very in-depth type of painting, and definitely enjoy seeing those videos as they come out. Now that we've arrived at the model car section, let's take a look and see how big the section is, and then go and look at these kits in depth, kit by kit, if we can. At first glance, we see the Ravel kit that was recently released for the Porsche, along with the Mobius Nova SS, and a lot of the flat box kits from Tamiya and Aoshima. A lot of these kits are pretty cool that I'm seeing so far, and definitely have my eye on a few to grab while I was here at Andy's. Some of the other cool kits that we see are the Bell kits. I definitely have not seen a Bell kit directly, and it was cool to see these and see what options Andy had that he was selling. As there was a video that Lucas C put out, we can see up top all the additional Mobius kits that were there for the Ford trucks. The one thing I appreciate at Andy's is the old stock that he has of kits as well, not just the new stock. A lot of hobby shops we'll see these days only have new stock and won't have old stock or older kits, but Andy's definitely had a nice variety of new stock and old stock that was there to choose from. As I was recording these videos initially, I didn't actually look at all the kits that were there. I had my eyes on a few that I wanted to grab along with the tools. However, looking back at this, there actually was a Galaxy trailer that I actually would like to have had if I had the opportunity to get it, and a few other kits that I may have overlooked. Andy surprisingly still had kits from that collection he bought or, uh, late last year, I believe, and I grabbed a few of those, including the Max Rat, from Ravel and that 70 Plymouth Roadrunner there as well. Those are pretty cool kits to grab and roll with the price that he was charging for them. Now that we've looked at the automotive section, let's go look down at all the other sections and see what else Andy has to offer everyone in the modeling community. Here is another aisle of military kits. The one thing I enjoyed about this is there was a lot of military kits I have not seen, and not being a military modeler myself, it was cool to see kits that I actually would probably enjoy building and would like to join in the future, especially to up my weathering game. Uh, to help with that for the automotive side, especially learning from the military guys. For everyone in the hobby that is into anime or gunpla, he has a whole aisle just for that on one side, which is pretty cool. Now being at the front section of the store, let's go down the aisles in the opposite direction to see what else they had, where here Andy had some more items for weathering, military kits, and the airplane kits especially, which were pretty cool. I was looking for an Edward 148th scale kit that was a P41D. It had a cool box art and cool tin inside. That's really what it was after, not the actual kit, but unfortunately he did not have that while I was there. I think some of the coolest kits that Andy has 
are the ones always displayed on the end shelves. These seem to be the ones that were the recent release or ones that he actually likes and enjoyed building at one time or another, especially with some of the new and upcoming accessories that he's gotten for these kits or supplies. With how well known Andy is known in the modeling community, having a website that ships worldwide and this store being widely known, it was humbling to speak to him directly about model kits and about the hobby in general just to see and get, hit, get input from him on the automotive side, the military side, especially from learning uh, where I should be at weathering and how I can help up my weathering game and what books he used to learn how to weather when he was getting into the hobby as well. If you are ever out in the Phoenix area, I highly recommend coming to Andy's. Um, he's a great guy to talk to and this part of the section right here which was the supply section was awesome to see. I don't have this kind of stuff in Colorado so seeing it here and seeing all the things that I would like to have in the future for building dioramas of rally cars, rusted out cars, even some military dioramas was pretty cool and even seeing some of the detail up stuff here in person that I haven't seen before and it was nice to understand the actual size of some of the parts that were here. For a lot of you guys, including myself, who are window shoppers or who like to see what the what's latest and greatest out there in the hobby, Andy's definitely has that. And for this, I want to slow up this video here to show you what he had as far as inventory, along with prices that I could actually see and help people see what his prices were and what he had in stock. Moving around the supply section of the store, we can see all of Andy's built models that he's done on YouTube and off of YouTube. And it was definitely nice to talk to him about these builds and understand what issues he had, especially that F1 at the bottom that I would like to build in the future and just learn more about it and um, his expertise on how he built it. That was definitely really cool to speak to him about. The one thing that Andy definitely has is a plethora of paint options, metalizer options, and options for anything regarding tools and supplies. It was nice to see that he definitely had a big stock of MIG, Tamiya, Mr. Color, Mr. Hobby, Kraos, all those paint lines here in stock, even MMP, which I heard of but never actually used, and I got to see them in person and see what they were. When I spoke to BG and Andy, one of the big things I wanted to talk about was weathering as I wanted to get into that portion of the automotive side and they pointed me both to MIG. MIG has a plethora of washes and pigments that can be used for rally car racing, um, even asphalt racing, dioramas of racetracks, anything of that nature MIG mostly has it or you can make it using a lot of the oil paints or other stuff from Vallejo that was there as well. This was definitely cool to see and I definitely enjoyed seeing that Andy had a lot of the tools and the supplies I was looking for that I could not find here in Colorado. They're at his location so I could buy them and ship them back to Colorado with me. Andy had two more display cases of builds which I definitely was in awe at seeing especially the water one there from his YouTube channel and a few of the other ones that I have watched over and over again on learning how to weather and try myself. The Bandai kits that he had that were Star Wars and other sections in the Gunpla were pretty cool to see along with all these other builds. Uh, this is the end of the video as far as the video portion however you will be able to see all the photographs and see a lot of the kits and prices more in person if you choose. 
Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.